In the meantime, Nigeria's House of Representatives has renewed its call on President Muhammadu Buhari to declare a state of emergency on the nation's security situation. Lawmakers insist Nigeria is under siege and should seek help before it's too late. The lawmakers' call is coming on a day the federal government says preliminary reports have shown that the recent attack on the Kaduna Abuja train is collaboration between dislodged Boko Haram terrorists in the northeast and bandits operating in the forest of the northwest. Minister of Information La Mohammed revealed this at the end of the weekly Federal Executive Council meeting chaired by President Muhammad Buhari. TVC News State House correspondent Femi Akonde reports. Lai Mohammed says plans and efforts of the military in fighting terrorism will not be a subject matter of a press conference. But it is not surprising that memos presented by the Ministry of Defense got the approval of the Federal Executive Council. Contracts have been awarded for the purchase of brand new vehicles to transport cargoes and troops to operational areas. The federal government suspects the recent attack on an Abuja-bound train on the Kaduna-Abuja rail line is a collaboration between bandits and Boko Haram terrorists, but insists the efforts of service chiefs will soon unravel those involved in the attack. Honestly, I think the, the security chiefs are working hard to unveil those who are involved, and I will tell you very soon the people that are carrying out these activities. What is really going on and our efforts to ensure that all these activities are stopped once and for all. We are really on top of the situation. We are planning hard and we'll get to them as soon as possible. Preliminary reports of what transpired at, uh, the, at, I know, at the Kaduna train you know, attack shows that there's been a kind of uh, uh, you know, collaboration between the bandits and the and the, and, the, and the dislodged Boko Haram, uh, you know, fighters from the northeast. But overall, I can tell you very confidently that the very government is on top of this matter. The power sector is still reeling from the effect of the national grid collapse. The Minister of Power also agrees that the frequent attack on power infrastructure in the country is a deliberate economic sabotage that will not be allowed to fester. So we need to also work together as a nation to support the leadership, to support the government to face these, these challenges together. The Federal Executive Council also approved a memo for the reconstruction of Pategi Water Project in Kwara State, and the Ministry of Science and Technology also got approval for two memos presented at the Federal Executive Council. Now there are fresh expectations that the approval gotten by the Ministry of Defense will enhance the operations of the country's military and improve the offensive against terrorists and bandits. Femi Akonde, TVC News, Abuja.